two, three, go. Hi, my name is Charlotte, and I'm interviewing art and artist called Princess Elise in Cuba, Havana, Cuba, and I went there with my mom. And the interview is about me. My name is Francis Ellis. I'm a Belgian artist living in Mexico. I work with uh, video, with painting, with drawings, with sculptures. I do performance, some kind of like actions. I do a bit of everything. No, but more than anything, I do work in collaboration with a lot of very uh, talented friends. How is media connected to art, in your opinion? How is media connected to art? Mm -hmm. It's just another tool. I mean, it's just another way of uh, expressing yourself. Develop a project, like a, a scenario, mm -hmm. and then I look for the best way of expressing it. And that's usually what defines the, the medium, if you want. If it's going to be better as a painting, then I do a painting. If it's going to be better as a... An animation, I'll do an animation. If it's going to be better as a, a, a song, I'll sing a song. Do you think media is a kind of art? If yes or no, why? Mm, no, I think uh, media is just uh, something you use. I mean, I don't think it's the, 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 the art itself is more uh, what's in the, the, the artist's head. How we decide to express it, um, it's just a, yeah, a tool, uh, like a, something you use to kind of materialize an idea if you want. Uh, Does media change who you are? Um, I mean, the use of internet <coughs> has changed a lot of things, yes, in terms of uh, diffusing an idea and, uh, and also in terms of uh, facilitating communication. You know, we, we, nowadays you can work with someone that lives in uh, 10,000 kilometers away uh, as if it was sitting next to you. You know, you can, uh, you can collaborate in a very different way. I mean, it doesn't matter anymore. You don't necessarily need to be in the same place. Would you, want, would you change anything about media? Um, I would, I would try to slow down or stop it's the way uh, it's being commercialized. You know, when it first appeared, it seemed like uh, you know people would be able to communicate uh, anywhere, anytime, for nothing, for free. And now you know the, you can see that little by little, the advertisement is taking more and more space in the media. Uh, you find yourself paying more and more for little things, a service here, a service there. On the other hand, I am a little nostalgic of the days where there were no media, so people were more doing collective activities. Like watching a film together uh, in front of the same screen instead of you know, 10 people, each of them looking at their uh, iPhone. Do you think media is dangerous? It's powerful. It's a very powerful tool. What do you think is dangerous about it? It's a very 
dangerous tool in the sense that it can really influence people and uh, fool them, if you want, or uh, you could just say, uh, um, lead them in the wrong direction. And it's happening. Huh? I mean, it's, I'm not thinking about uh, any hypothetical scenario. It's happening as we speak. So, if it's not used for uh, the right purposes, yes, it can be very dangerous. Thank you for your time.